on one of my other YouTube videos, uh, I got asked a question and the question went like this. What if I need to allow users to download a PDF once they click on the subscribe button, which to me is going to be a download and a free guide. Do I have to use Zapier? Now, realistically, there's two ways we can go about this. The first way is we can connect this to Zapier, or I prefer to use a platform called automate.io, which I'm going to show you shortly. And the way it works is someone would click on a button, download here. They would fill in their information, click send, and then they would either receive an email with the download link or be taken to another page with a download link on it. Now, I prefer the latter rather than the former, purely because it's easier, it keeps them on my website, and, and, and. Now, uh, if you've not already integrated the Popbox uh, plugin, or if you're unsure how, there'll be a link in my YouTube description taking you to that video, so it'll bring you up to speed. But if you already know how to do all of that, then keep watching. So let's get started. Head over to your dashboard and head over to the form that you want connecting to MailChimp. So once you've clicked on the Elementor form, well, you've actually got two options. So if we just delete that and we type in form, if you've used the standard MailChimp sign up plugin, then you'll see the widget and you'll drag it into there. But I'm not going to be using this because it's you can't really customize it without knowing code. Um, so for simplicity, let's just use the default Elementor, default Elementor form. So we drag that in and then what we've got, let's just update this. Let's refresh this. And you can see the big download button here. If we click that, the form will come up. Now, what we want to do, we want to connect this. And so whenever someone subscribes, it automatically updates our MailChimp list and then they will be added to that list and that list will automatically trigger a email to go to them with a download link. So we click on the form, head over to actions after submit, and you can see add action here. If you click on it, you will see a drop down here. Now, I don't actually like using the, the default MailChimp integration. I, I just I just don't think it's very good. I like using the webhook. So I'm going to use the webhook for this one. And you can see that a field has just appeared here. It will be the same if you do use the MailChimp, you can see MailChimp and any other field that you decide to add in. So for now, we're just going to stay with the webhook. Now it's asking for webhook URL. So if we head over to automate.io, uh, I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, and just before anyone asks, I'm not an affiliate of them. I'm not earning anything. I just think they're really good. They're free and uh, to a certain level and they're just really, really simple. So once you're once you've created your own account, you'd want to click on create a bot and you want to type in webhook. So now you can see that webhooks are here and you want to select the trigger event, which is an incoming hook. Okay. So now um, on the box next to it, you want to select uh, select an action app and type in MailChimp, select it. And now it really depends on what you want to do. I want this one adds or updates a subscriber to a specified list because when they get added to that, then in your settings of MailChimp, it's going to automatically send them an email. I'm not actually covering that in this video because MailChimp is a whole different um, set up, but if you're trying to connect MailChimp, then I assume you already have a good grasp on how it works. So add or update a subscriber. And you can see that it's um, to, telling me to choose a list. I'm going to choose Rent SEO, which is my core business. Have a look at rentseo.co.uk. And you want update if existing, yes. And you'll see all of these fields are blank. Now, before we start filling this in, let's head over back to the box on the left and click set up webhook. So now uh, you can see that there's a webhook here. Now I may need to blur this out because of um, security reasons, but uh, you will see the same box and you'll see a code in it. 
So you want to take this URL and head over to the Elementor form on your website and where it says webhook, paste that URL into there, press update. And now head over to your website, refresh it, click your submit button and just enter some test and test at hotmail.com, blah, 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 and then press send. Now, the reason we've, we're doing this is so automate.io can pick up um, the scent. So can you see, we just, it, because I've just done that, uh, you can see it name is test, email is test, and then the message. So it, and you can see it's come from this page, etc. So it's got all the information there that we actually want. And we're just going to press looks good. Okay. So now you can see that you've got the name, email, message, date. Now, all we really want is the email. So we're just going to click this plus icon and press email and then for that that's that's basically um what you want to add in there so let's press save and then we want to click your bot is currently off okay and you know what it's asking us to do it again so let's do it again oh whatever test Okay, I'm going to press send. That's done. And you can see that it's performing add or update a subscriber list. So what you can actually see here is that it's saying invalid resource test looks fake or invalid. Please enter a real email address. That's because the email is invalid and um, it's a spam like email. So that's a new feature that MailChimp um, or automate.io have just integrated. However, uh, you can actually see the connection is valid. And uh, if you try this, it will work with a real email address. I don't really want to be doing this with a real email address, um, but as you can see, it is valid. So yeah, go ahead. So that is how you would set up um, a webhook using automate.io, which is free and how you can connect that to MailChimp. Uh, if that helped or if you've got any questions, um, please make sure you leave a comment in the description. If you can subscribe, it really helps the channel grow and it also lets me know that I'm actually providing content, which is a value, which is what I really want to be doing. Uh, yeah, so thank you for watching and until next time.